Hey there, I'm Willie with Neck Your Business. Welcome to the Business Break. Today I'm going to go over a very simple yet highly useful feature in the ReadyNAS and that's Cloud Backup. Today I'm going to be working with my trusty ReadyNAS 422. It's perfect for me as a filmmaker because I deal with a lot of data. The video files, the editing files, those all add up to a lot of data so I gotta make sure that my computer has room to operate. So when I need to, I move my stuff into the ReadyNAS and when I gotta work on a project again, I retrieve it from my ReadyNAS. Now the cloud backup feature adds a whole nother level to my data security. Say for example, God forbid the office building goes on fire and my ReadyNAS is burned to ashes, you know, just, just dust. Well, all my data is still gonna be safe and secure in the cloud. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, let's get started. I'm already signed onto the admin page of my ReadyNAS, so let's head over to the Cloud tab. Here you can see there are multiple Netgear and third-party cloud services. Personally, I use Google Drive often, so let's do that and click it on. Now I choose the account I want to use, my Gmail account, and click Allow. All right, now we have to set it up. The local path is the folder in your ReadyNAS, the one you would like to be backed up or backed up to. I made a specific location for this demo and it is the test folder. Next, I will choose the cloud storage path. This is the folder that will be linked to the folder that we have just chosen in our ReadyNAS. So there's the test folder in the Google Drive. I selected it. Finally, choose the sync direction. There are three options, by direction, download cloud storage changes only, and upload local storage changes only. If you use download cloud storage changes only, then anything added to the Google Drive business break folder would then be added to the folder of the ReadyNAS. It's the opposite for upload local storage changes only. Anything I store in the business break folder in the ReadyNAS is then automatically downloaded into the Google Drive folder. Bi-direction is a combination of the two. So then anything added to my Google Drive will then pop up in my ReadyNAS and anything I add to my ReadyNAS will then pop up into my Google Drive. There we go, it's all set up. So if we go to settings, we'll see our session right over here that we just created. We can delete this and we can also add more sessions and make more connections between our Google Drive and ReadyNAS. Over in the options, you can see that we can configure the upload speed and the download speed. Now that it's set up, let's test it out. In the Shares tab, I'm already in my test folder in my ReadyNAS. Let's go to my Google Drive and open up the test folder there. Let's start off by pulling a picture from my computer and adding it to the ReadyNAS. I think I'll go with this picture of me and my motorcycle. There I am, and there's, there's my bike, there's my baby. So let's, uh, yep, there it is in the Google Drive, same photo. Awesome. Now let's test the other direction. I'm going to upload this photo, awesome photo of some lightning volcanic eruption type of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? And then we're going to go and check to see, okay, it's not up in the ReadyNAS yet. So we're going to refresh it. Go back to our shares, go back to that test folder and it's there. So it takes a little longer for something uploaded into the Google Drive Cloud to pop up into your ReadyNAS, but there it is. And that's backing up your ReadyNAS to a third-party cloud service. Thank you very much for joining me on this business break. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day. See you later.